It has been pressed. Okay. Hello, welcome to the Turtle Dove Podcast. Here we are. We have to play our intro. Yeah, here it comes. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> there it is, all its glory. Still can't hear sound, but it definitely has sound for some reason. Okay, and then we're back to us. Okay. Welcome, it's it's Ash3, Jimny, and Danny Wyatt. Here we are. Uh, yep. We have nothing to talk about this week, but <laughs> Great. We're, we're, we're certainly going to try and waffle, as we always do. You two are telling me there's nothing happened to you this week. Uh, uh, I worked. <laughs> nothing, no crazy customers or... No. <laughs> nope. You didn't like, go outside at all? I what? work outside. Kind of. Okay. Where do you work, Wyatt? You don't have to give the exact name. I work at an auto shop. Okay. I'm a glorified boob tech. <laughs> <laughs> and where do you work, Danny? I work in a the movie theater. <laughs> That's right. Right. In a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that get like free movies then yeah Hell yeah that's, that's pretty cool free movies free popcorn free drinks you'd figure with like the past couple years and everything that went down movie theaters would kind of be non-existent anymore well this movie theater is pretty swanky yeah you get you get to like you know pick your seat your assigned seat it has like a table where you can set all your food. Oh, okay. It's got a. It's basically a recliner with a table. <laughs> all right. Let me, here's a here's a question. How old are you, Chimney? <laughs> me. I'm 17. Why the fuck are you drinking Diet Pepsi then? <laughs> what do you mean? What 17 year old? This isn't anything? diet. Diet. It, look at the point. This isn't diet. Turn it over. Look. Keep turning. Pepsi Cola. Oh, okay. Why is the can white? It looked like diet, right? Does that say soda shop? You were drinking something diet earlier, though, a couple of days ago. Yeah, I drink diet soda. Why do you do that? You're young. Because that's what I grew life. up with. You need to die a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, Wyatt. Hey, can you not? That's just what I grew up with, man. You know? You get accustomed to it, and then you can't drop it. All right. Now I think diet tastes better. Oh, okay. Well, now I'm gonna argue with you again. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What? What do you drink? What is your thing? Not diet soda. <laughs> okay. Got a premium Mountain Dew voltage here. Oh, of course, Mountain Dew. You're like yeah, gamer juice. You're a major league gamer over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll have you know I have 10 followers on Twitch now. So oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you're blowing up, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's in the double digits. Link in the yeah. description. Let me go oh, unfollow yeah. real quick. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Take him back down to nine. <laughs> <laughs> that would really hurt me more than you think. <laughs> One of those is me, too, I think. So. No, it's not. What do you mean, no? It's, is it? You've not followed yet. Don't follow now. Don't follow when I'm live because the alerts work now. <laughs> okay. All right, I have not seen Chimichangas followed you. Pop up. Online. Okay. Well, what do you stream? Why don't you tell the people? What I'm do you do? I'm essentially a variety guy. I do whatever's fun. Nothing. I haven't played serious things. I don't intend to. I'm just uh, shooting for comedy content, I guess, is the goal. Okay. Like we Phasmo. do here. Uh, we yeah, have, lately we've just been doing Phasmo, a Civil War game called Battle Cry of Freedom or something like that. Yeah. Just really Lego Star you guys Wars. Talking about Lego that. Star Wars. <laughs> really Lego Star Wars. Wall stuff. Okay. Yeah, Phasmophobia, that was around, uh, that was pretty popular not too long ago. It's been a while, but it's still yeah. a fun game, I'll say. Sure. I got spooked really hard yesterday. I haven't gone and looked at the footage because I'm scared. Oh. I literally hurt myself 
It fucking spooked oh me God. so damn bad. <laughs> what happened? Uh, power went out, so uh, someone suggested I go into the basement, and somebody may or may not have been fucking with the ghost with a voodoo doll. And as soon as I went down there, it fucking... It was in the fucking room, and it popped up in front of me and fucking screamed at me. And I screamed back at it, and I turned around, and the door was fucking closed, so I started yelling. <laughs> I thought I was dead. I'm upstairs, so I'm like, hey, Wyatt. Go turn on the power, and I have the voodoo doll in my hand. He goes down there, <laughs> pushing a pin, and all you hear is, ah! ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then it killed me. Later. Okay. Kill it. Sounds like you guys work as a pretty good team, then. It, it sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I got Wyatt killed, too, the other time. Yeah. We were all hiding in the same closet, and the ghost was hunting around the house, and I was like, Hey, we're over here! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and it came in the room, and I, little, I threw a little smudge stick at it, and it ran away, and then I hid in the corner that Wyatt was hiding in, and it killed him. It decided to kill me for some reason. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it seems like whenever I hear stories about you guys playing this game, it's always just about Danny screwing you over. <laughs> That's it's either one way or the other. Hey, we're over here. Come get us. <laughs> Wyatt showed me some clips from uh, uh, that he had compiled from his streams. Pretty funny. I did. Yeah. Because I remember you were going to show him on the podcast, but then you just never did. Well, I didn't know how to link it to it. It's hard to pull up another screen because then it... I haven't figured it out, all right? I'm working you can't on it. can just, like, share your screen? I can, but it'll make things super small, and it only runs in shitty FPS. I gotcha. I'll just put a link in the description to the February comp. <laughs> Check it there out. There you go. Yeah, you're going to have to go watch it for yourself. You That's... can also... Is that to your YouTube channel? Yeah, that's where it is. Then you can also check out our... What Can I call it? Yeah, our Star Wars D&D stuff. Yes. Episode 3 coming out tomorrow. Oh. The time tomorrow? Out, yeah, I've changed it to Sundays. It just feels more... It makes more sense. Okay. Episode 2 left off on a cliffhanger. It sure did. Did you watch episode 2, Chimney? <laughs> You didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched it yet, but the thing is, like, I was you. there. I was there, though. I know what happens. Yeah, but you don't know about the That'd sound be... effects. Yeah, he had it. It really, stuff. It really it. makes it. I will watch it. I just haven't had the time yet. A crazy week, fellas. <laughs> yeah? You want to do yeah. all into that, or you just want to leave it be? Well... Might as well. I mean, since we have nothing else to talk about. <laughs> we can talk about something else, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like wicked affected by it or anything like that. No. So it's fine. So there I was. I just got home. Uh, uh, yeah, I just got home. It was like 3 o'clock or something like that. I set my stuff down. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna go watch some YouTube or whatever, because <laughs> that's usually what I do. Yeah. And then I go, I like get dressed, I put some comfy stuff on. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna settle down. I take like a small nap. And by a small nap, I mean like a three-hour nap. <laughs> okay. And then like my dad comes home and he's all panicked, and I'm like, whoa, dude, what's going on? And he's like. <laughs> exactly that's exactly like what went on in my head so then like uh he goes to me and he's like uh son he doesn't say that <laughs> he goes, son <laughs> what i like to add make... details yeah I, 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 I know i know you yes you know this about me I mean, everything we've done, I've said, like... He likes to blur the line between reality and imagination. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. He lives in between it. Yes. I like to stay in that gray area. Because if I don't, then I'm just going to get lost in my imagination. Oh, God. All right. Anyway, Dad. Yeah. yeah, so he comes up to me. He's like, 
okay, uh, your stepmother was just arrested. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, man. I was like, okay. And I can't remember what I did. I think I like played cyberpunk or something. <laughs> Straight to the game. I mean, I don't know about you two, but like video games are a pretty good stress reliever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, I think that's the reason most people play video games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I played Cyberpunk. And then, like, a day later, they were like, oh, well, they're going to lower the bail, so it's all okay. And now she's home. I really... <laughs> I really kind of, like, panicked about nothing, okay. it turns out. Thank God. But the information I was told was not nothing. Okay. okay. Like, she was assaulted painted somebody, to me. shot someone on a subway. No, nothing. Well, I mean, <laughs> long those Does she lines. have a warrant out for like a, like a two-year-old ticket? No, it was not, it was it was like pretty hefty. I won't go into it. I don't know what I can. I, no drugs. I, this same mob that wanted to be on the podcast too, by the way. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's a criminal. It's, no, the one that wants to be on the podcast. Allegedly. Oh, you have an actual mob. Okay. Yeah. Nah, he's she born likes in the a podcast. lab. I kind of thought Chibney was an orphan. Oh, I won't lie. I'm not an orphan, no. Okay. Now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but yeah. Uh, my family has watched a lot of... What I can only assume is a lot of our podcast. <laughs> Instead of being revolted and disgusted by the things we say, apparently they... The North is weird, Daniel. They embrace this stuff. They, like, want it. Like, our parents would never, like, approve of the shit that we do. <laughs> or at least mine would. What? They're just good so... Christian people that don't support like cussing you know all the shit i don't ever cuss in front of my parents to this day i i don't cuss in front of my mother my dad doesn't give a shit though i cuss all the time i dropped the f-bomb in front of my mom well you're okay <laughs> i was also you know in the army for six years so yeah, yeah, she yeah, kind like, of expects it to this point <laughs> yeah he's got the cuss pass in front of his parents <laughs> he suffered enough <laughs> Gone, I can say I can say the f word, but she doesn't like it when I say mother effer. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. I can imagine. That's I was. The line. I was speaking of that, um, which is a bad transition. Yeah, it is a real bad transition. <laughs> speaking of I, mother effer, whose mom oh, did you Lord, fuck, Chimney? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, I was. Um, I think I may have talked about this last time. I watched the uh, both kick-ass movies. You did bring this up. Ever seen. You did bring okay. it up. All right. I don't remember this. I vaguely it was it got brushed off. Okay. Well, they're pretty good. I I I Nicholas Cage is one of those actors that's very hit and miss. Yeah, for me. fake Batman. Yeah, exactly, fake Batman. Nicholas Cage. It doesn't matter what's he, what he's in, it's always going to be either, like, the worst movie ever created or, like, a very okay movie. What about National Treasure? Well, that's a very okay movie. What about National <laughs> Treasure 2? That was a little worse. Okay. But, you know, there's a couple actors that are like that in Hollywood. I think, now uh, this may be, he is an you know, upcoming movie. Nicholas Cage does? Yeah, like, like that Friday Night at Freddy's knockoff movie or whatever, where he's fighting animatronics. That already came out, dude. Oh, it did? Yeah. How was it? They're pretty sucky. Okay. <laughs> I don't he, know what I expected. I don't know if it was supposed to be ironic or not, but, like, the entire movie, he was, like, talking about himself and, like, acting about himself like he was such a badass. Well. <laughs> Even though he was, like... Working at a children's restaurant, Nicholas wearing Cage a shirt is, that didn't fit him. He's the he's the 
Not the bees! Is he that guy? <laughs> Cage, right? I think so. <laughs> Not the bees! I think Nicolas Cage is like Dollar General Cre Keanu Reeves. <laughs> well, here's that led me to my next point was that I really like Keanu Reeves as a person, but I think they need to stop putting him in things. <laughs> His popularity is making him less cool. Yeah, because now they put him in stuff and just say, you know, the joke is that you're Keanu Reeves, you know. Yeah. It's like, well, that's not very fair. <laughs> He's the best actor that can't act. That's yes. what people say about him. Yeah. You know who else I feel He's about He's not really that an way? actor either. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. Like, what are what other popular movies is he in besides uh, John Wick? The Matrix. I mean, The Matrix. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, fuck The Matrix. It's all about John Wick, right? I mean, it's pretty much about John Wick. And that's not even acting. That's just... 90% combat. It's, it's more... That's of... true. That's true. Yeah, any movie he's in, the only lines that he ever says is like when he gets hit and he goes, uh... <laughs> and like, he gets knocked to the ground. You're gonna regret that. Just one-liners the entire movie. People keep asking me if I'm back. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Which I, I enjoy the John Wick movies. I just wish it wasn't like eight hours of not eight hours, but like two I enjoy whole hours. It. I enjoy it being two hours of violence. Fun I mean, fun. yeah, I, I enjoy it too. It's just I wouldn't mind. It's all. Day. It's always a shot to the ankle, shot to the head. <laughs> if he has a gun, yeah, you could just shoot him in the head. No, he shoots him in the ankle. Yeah, he's he's got to get that one in first. I, I've heard a lot which... of stuff. Okay, go ahead. Well, you go ahead. This is still about Keanu Reeves because I'm about to segue. <laughs> No, I was about to segue as well. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to say that the, the new Batman movie... This That's Batman, what I was going to talk about. <laughs> this Batman is pretty brutal. <laughs> Good. Like, he's just like straight up breaking people's faces. <laughs> oh, man. It is pretty great. Everything I've heard about it has been like... It's he's very brutal, but I've also heard there's a lot of um, it focuses more on his detective side and his yeah. crime fighting side. Yeah, which I'm all for. I was iffy about Robert Pattinson being Batman. I'll be Why? Honest. I just don't. I don't know. He's like a pretty boy, you know. He's a emo boy. <laughs> That's his his thing. It, it's perfect. yeah, but, but he's a pretty emo boy, you know. Batman can be Bruce Wayne's not ugly. He's a handsome, rich guy. Yeah, exactly. He's handsome. He's not pretty, you know. Robert Pattinson oh my is God. A, pretty, a pretty man. <laughs> Chimney wants to suck Robert Pattinson's dick right now. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying. <laughs> I was now iffy I, about it, too, and then I watched it, and I was like, yeah, he's pretty good. Okay. I, really I think he might actually be my favorite Batman now. Really? <laughs> yeah. Now, that's interesting. Okay. It was Christian Bale. Yeah. I yeah, that's Bale. everyone's favorite Batman. But now it's Robert Pattinson. Christian Bale was a pretty good Batman. Good three movies. Yeah. What about Hope Adam Robert. West? Oh, man. Adam <laughs> West might be my favorite, I'll be honest. I mean, he was a funny Batman. Sure. I love Adam West. Rest in peace. I don't, it was weird because, like, in between Batmans, it went from like Adam West Batman to who came next. Uh, what's his name? One that like fought Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. Uh, shoot, I don't know. I, I, I can't remember his name. But it went from like very like funny and silly to like sort of silly, but like kind of just like kind of cringe awkwardness <laughs> and then it went to like full like okay he's kind of a badass now yeah it was Christian weird with Bale, Ben Affleck and then Robert Pattinson yeah and Affleck I really didn't like his Batman I thought he was too fat <laughs> <laughs> I I say it he wasn't him. fat at all. his I mean, face was... his face did not fit Batman it That's was true. too it was too 
blocky. <laughs> See, that's interesting because I think his face fit Bruce Wayne better than it did Batman. Yeah. Yeah. But I know they're the same person, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which I don't understand why other people in that universe haven't figured out by now as well. Look. Where's Batman <laughs> getting all this like really expensive stuff from? That's what I was thinking about earlier. I was like, Batman has all these like high tech stuff, and they're like, "Who is Batman?" <laughs> <laughs> Can't be the rich. It's only a well. few select people it can be with that amount of money. Isn't yeah. his lair like right under his his mansion too? Yeah. You think someone like, would not follow he... him there? Like, right? And not he contracted the, uh... somebody to build that. He didn't build it all himself. His lair's not under the mansion in the new one. Oh, oh it's where is it? It's like in an abandoned subway area. See, that's smart, because at least, you know, they're not going to trace it directly to him. And he has, like, a kick-ass motorcycle that he rides. <laughs> really? Interesting. Yeah. I saw the car, and the car is pretty kick-ass. Oh, yeah. It's, like, kind of oldish. Yeah. Like, super modified. When is this set? Because I've heard weird things about that. What year is the set in? It's Batman. Oh, I can't remember. It says it in the movie. But it takes place on it's... Halloween. <laughs> okay. I heard it's a more modern than a Batman. Yeah. He's kinda like a millennial Batman, right? <laughs> millennial Batman. I guess so, not yeah. Not a not a Gen Z. It is Batman. a more modern Batman. Like modern time. Okay. <laughs> what would define a Maybe. Gen Z Batman? When does the generate? When do the generations cut off? Uh, like, millennial starts nineteen eighty, but I don't know where it ends. Ninety six. Yeah, so me and Dan are the, are the last millennials. The last of the millennials. <laughs> <laughs> when we die, the whole generation's gone. <laughs> I, I, I think this new Batman may be a Gen Z Batman. I don't want to. I wouldn't say that. <clears throat> well, he doesn't act like a Gen Z Batman, but I think what, he What it be. takes for it to be a Gen Z thing would be like if the director was a Gen Z. Like, he makes the decisions of the movie. I, I assume okay. there's no Gen Z person old enough alive to be directing a good film. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's probably true. I don't think there ever will be, is the thing. I don't think. How many Gen upcoming has new directors are there? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I think I, to... I think directors are one of those Your things that's deal. just gonna die. Out. <laughs> oh but yeah, I, yeah. Shockingly good director. <laughs> Jordan Peele, yeah, he yeah, he, he makes a very good movie. It's kind of crazy to like know that he was like in all a funny. comedy. Yeah, doo -doo. all funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now he's yeah. making like scary movies, and they're like legitimately kind of scary, and they don't just rely on jump scares for the entire movie. No. There's a new one coming out. It's about yeah. like a, a family that owns horses. It's like <laughs> alien abduction, right? Something like that. Yeah. I'm excited for it. I, I'm going to see that. I really want to see this new Batman. I'll be honest. I haven't seen any of his movies. You haven't? No. Nope. you got to see at least one. I mean, they're really good. I don't know. Why? Have you seen like either? Uh... <laughs> I think I saw Get Out. That's the one. Yeah, Get Out was a good one. Where they're swapping bodies for some reason. I don't remember the plot, but I know the. I think it was like as they got older, they had to like put their minds into new bodies or something like that. Yeah. They really wanted well, to be athletic. Don't give away. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah, something like that. It's like a psychological kind of horror thing, I guess. Wyatt, we need to uh, have a paranormal activity marathon again. Uh, that's fine. That's. Oh. That'd be fun. I want to get into watching unknown titles again. Just to see where things are. I like watching unknown stuff. And they're usually, okay. usually shitty or actually okay. I got a movie that I'm going to link to you. That I want you to watch. So we can talk about it. Don't make it a scary podcast. movie. I don't want to watch a scary movie. Alone. It's just, what do you mean? Why, okay, watch you, it with uh, Dan. <laughs> have you watched the Conjuring movies? Yeah, we watched them together. And the and Annabelle series? We watched some of the Annabelle series. Because Conjuring 2 was the one with the chair. 
He hates chairs, or he likes chairs. <laughs> that one was way scarier than the first one. You lied to us. That was the Second Conjuring. See, I don't remember that. I thought that was the Babadook. No, Babadook was its own thing entirely. The Babadook oh. was part of that because he was he was. No, that was whatever that music box man was. Maybe all chairs. four movies are connected. Maybe that's the secret. They are all connected because it's the same actor, Travis from the Alamo. I don't never know his name. <laughs> I just know he was in the Alamo movie. Okay. Figures. <laughs> it's annoying how often he's in a scary movie. <laughs> like I'm tired of seeing his face. That's true. It can when you see an actor. I love that guy. To be honest, he's great. But Patrick fuck, Wilson? Yeah. yeah, mix it up. When a you, little. yeah, it takes you out of it, kind of seeing the same actor oh, and so he is. many different Look movies. At him. That's him again. Yeah. It's smug I mean, that's kind of I what like I mean Wilson. with Keanu Reeves. You know. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I thought the ending of first conjuring was or wait, no the first insidious was hilarious where he choked out she, that wall. she like snaps a yeah. picture and he's like why'd you do that why'd you take a picture of me <laughs> <laughs> oh god i have to rewatch some of these a lot yeah. more of these mostly because i like watching them but with with a group, with a group. i don't want to <laughs> yeah. watch it alone i have like a hard time getting scared by horror movies so I, I really just enjoy watching them. Uh, I don't know. I find some of it funny. In all honesty. I think the most hilarious horror movies are the Nightmare on Elm Street series. <laughs> yeah. That was so funny watching it with Wyatt. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're funny at first. And then, like, around episode eight, they start getting super gory for no reason. Yeah. I mean, that's like those Same with the classic Jason splasher movies. film. Yeah, well, they're all part of that same era. Where all horror movies were just slasher films. Yeah. The ending of the first Elm Street. There's like a tiny it's little tiny window, window, and the arm comes out and pulls the girl in. Clearly pulls a cardboard cut out of that woman through that window. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was great. Walk to my world, bitch. <laughs> I also stopped using that line, and it's... A Fucking so iconic. <laughs> yeah, a lot of like a lot of modern horror movies. Um, I know they re they tried to reintroduce, not reintroduce, I guess, but they did that more modern. Um, uh, what, who is it? It's Michael Myers. I forget what the name of the. There's another Halloween. one coming out. <laughs> Is there? I thought they ended it with this last one. That I think, was, like, I, I, think I saw a trailer recently for another one. Oh my god. Of course. I hate it when they milk a franchise so hard that it just dries out. Yep. Yep. <laughs> like Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Can we exactly die? like Call of Duty. Let's just leave Call of Duty alone. <laughs> Why? They deserve it. <laughs> they're, they're tired of hearing about it. And Battlefield. <laughs> and Both milk the death. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I don't know. What are what are some new games you guys are excited about? Um, before going into that, uh, uh, Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker yeah. Saga. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm genuinely excited about that <laughs> too. Really I think that looks really cool. There's a lot of stuff they're adding that I'm really excited. We need about. To, we need to get it on PlayStation so me and you can play it, Chimney. Um, yeah, that'd be. Fun. I, I already have it on Steam, so. <laughs> Yeah. Me and okay, are gonna Oh, I also heard some bad news actually. So oh. they uh apparently they've been hinting that this isn't gonna have remote play. No So yeah, we're gonna see. Fuck. Hopefully it has longer. remote play. That's a shame. I think that is the thing that like a lot of modern Lego games have been missing, huh? Like, online play. Yeah, they should. It should be an easy ad, but I don't. They, yeah. they just aim for local play. But especially this new one, since, especially you know, the pandemic, 
they should really focus on some <laughs> multiplayer what was, online. What was with the air quotes there? Well, that's... There's no pandemic. <laughs> Have you gone outside at all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what a weird time to be alive. Yeah, it's a very strange time to be alive. Like, a lot of places that are around me have just recently started dropping ask requirements and stuff. Hmm. I don't know about <laughs> you guys. <laughs> so, uh... I don't know where mask anyway. How do y'all feel about the Obi-Wan movie coming out? What's well, a show. Oh, it's a show? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm already out. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a movie. <laughs> Why is it a show? Well, because that's what Star Wars does now. They just make TV shows. Ah, uh, man. I know. They're scared to make movies after the prequels. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Well, after the prequels. I think after the new trilogy. I still have not watched any of the new trilogy. I'll be honest. I don't recommend trash. you do. <laughs> it's, trash. All it's all bad. trash. Okay. Luke Skywalker just isn't himself. <laughs> like, I don't know what I've happened. I've heard Mark Hamill hates Luke Starwark. Skywalker now? Yeah, I don't blame him. That's something you don't want to hear. Yeah, really. One of the also like, when uh characters. when a side character in the Mandalorian has a better character arc than a main character in the movies. <laughs> you know the movies are trash. Which Finn? Finn had a terrible arc, dude. He's yeah. a terrible character. I thought they were setting it up so he was going to be like a Jedi. Mayfield was way better. He was, oh, way, he was, was a way better ex-Stormtrooper. Yeah. Because <laughs> he had, like, substance to him. And just kind of sat around and, like, whenever action was needed, he was like, I'll be your gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mayfield did have a pretty good character progression, I think. He was kind of an asshole. Uh, and he still kind of is an asshole. <laughs> but at least he's like a kind asshole now. Um. Operation Cinder. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's in Battlefield 2? Or, ba yeah, Battlefront 2? Is it? What? Operation Cinder. It's in the story mode. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Maybe you play as Mayfield. No, you don't. You play oh, as the new Aiden Versi or whatever. Not the real Battlefront 2. Shame. Not the real, Shame. not the, cla <laughs> not the classic real. 2005 Battlefront 2. I really like the idea of Battlefront as a concept. I think it was well and executed. Action. I don't know. I just don't like anything made by EA. <laughs> okay. That's my only issue. I think EA is another one of those companies that like makes a game and then they re-release it about eight times. Well, they do. You remember that uh that Meat Canyon video where it was uh what's his name? Nico Avocado, that yeah. guy. Yeah. And he was like touching everything and it turned to like mush. That's, That's EA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening to me? Calling you out, EA. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Any company that like to, likes to release a game every year is just shit. That's why Call yeah, of Duty's trash. They get a new game out every year. Yeah, that's true. There's like two spectrums of it, right? Because there's that side of it where they just re-release a and game like And there's Bethesda that times. doesn't do it if they just re-release the same game remastered exactly. every 10 years. <laughs> but then there's like really good game companies where they don't release any games ever. Except for, like, one every 18 years or whatever. Yeah. Like, Valve. Although Valve has kind of cash-grabbed on, like, Dota. I don't play Dota. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, what's oh, no, Half-Life Alex what's, was pretty cool. Here's a question for you. What's the best last EA game you've ever played? <laughs> Battlefront 2. <laughs> <laughs> From 2005! <laughs> was that an know. EA game back then? It was LucasArts, though. Oh, uh, yeah, it probably was an EA. Why did you say it was an EA? Yes, yeah, so never. 
Well, the new Battlefront. Battlefront 2. Oh, yeah. the new one is EA? Ew. Gross. Yeah. Yeah, EA owns like all the rights to Star Wars uh, video games. Probably yeah. NCAA 08. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I like The Sims. I'm a big fan of The Sims. When I had the old college football games, Daniel, I would make our Bangs high school team. And I would actually make every single character. <laughs> in <play>. Heck yeah. <laughs> it was kind of sad. Cool. You can't do that now. <laughs> no, you can't. I, I, I feel like a lot of big game companies, they like, I don't, I know it's probably not this, but it seems like they find features that like everybody loves and just takes them out. Yep, yep. Speaking of like video games and cash grabs, I've been thinking about this for a while, but like Nintendo, with all their games, how greedy they are. Like, they have like 20 year old games and they're still for $60 the same exact price. <laughs> and, I, and I was on the Nintendo store. It was Mario Day, uh, you know, March 10th. It just spells out Mario because that's so cool. And uh, I was looking at a lot of the deals they had off of, like, Mario games. And it was like, oh, yeah, we lowered the price to, you know, $50. <laughs> guess, oh, it wasn't speaking very of good that, deals at all. Speaking of that, guess how much Pokemon Sapphire version is for the Game oh Boy? Oh, my God. How much? Uh, there's some song for two hundred dollars. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Why don't they just like stop? Stop, Jimmy said. Please, stop. stop. Stop now. In the name of the law. I kind of don't. I like Nintendo, but then I don't like them at the same time. I yeah, I feel they are very greedy. Similar. Yeah, I think. As, like, the industry gets more competitive, I think we're, we'll be better off. Because... They haven't, like, upped their graphics for Pokemon in a while. It's that is kind true. of been the same. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> it has been kind of the same, like, level of, oh, look, that, that looks kind of nice. Well, if they do that, like the game will stop working. Because <laughs> the yeah, Switch can't true. power shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. The Switch is pretty okay sometimes That's not with what that I kind hear. of stuff. Shit. I don't. To be fair, the only like triple A game I played on it is Mortal Kombat 11, and I don't even know if that is considered a triple A game. The Nintendo here, here we'll go. We'll take this in the context. The Nintendo yeah. Switch can barely run Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> It shouldn't yeah, be allowed that's, that's to run Skyrim bad. at all. Skyrim should not be on the Switch. Why the fuck would it's it be on It's so the blurry and pixelated. It's like, why would you even play it There's on that? There's so much well, in that game. It's not meant for that. Yeah, but, you know, they had to re-release it. Nintendo yeah, Switch Yeah, they wanted money. And yeah. Nintendo paid them. Fucking idiots. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Two idiots colliding heads. Yeah. Hey, Anniversary Edition. You can now use a fishing pole. <laughs> yeah, ooh. And I like the fact that, like, Xbox has bought, or, like, not Xbox alone, but Microsoft has bought Bethesda now. That's sad. And how, like, people are supposed to be upset over that, I guess. I am. Because Elder Scrolls Six is going to be a exclusive, even though it's just going to be Skyrim remastered again. It yeah. <laughs> Have you heard about Starfield, though? I, ho I heard... That's supposed to be at least, like, different. I don't know. It's probably just going to be, like, the Outer Worlds, though. I've heard about it, but I haven't researched it at all. It's probably just going to be an Outer Worlds copy and paste. I hope Outer Worlds 2 destroys Starfield. Yes, I really <laughs> hope. I love Obsidian. They, they make really good games. I thought their reveal trailer was so funny. <laughs> Yeah, that we don't even know the plot yet. <laughs> <laughs> they were being like fully just transparent about it, which I enjoy. What have you seen the video? I have not. I don't know it's what people nice. are talking about. Can we worlds. can we react to trailers? Is that a thing? Mm, yeah, I don't we think we can. Can we? Uh, I don't know. Reactions <laughs> Why are, not? are a myth hit or miss. What do you mean, dude? I don't know. Some people are just real sensitive. Especially if you wreck poorly. 
So what? Just let me watch <laughs> what do we care own. about? Like, I don't know. The game companies and their feelings. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that million dollars that you're laying on isn't isn't enough for you to be happy? <laughs> let's not let's not get into Rockstar anymore. Oh, y'all want to talk so about Rockstar, but you'll talk about I'm Call so of Duty. Sick. <laughs> I'm sick of talking about Rockstar. I'm sick of talking fuck about Call of Duty. Fuck Rockstar. They can go fuck themselves. Laying on that billion dollar bed of parachute. <laughs> Just lying in all that shark card money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they infuriate me, dude. But you know what infuriates me even more is the people that still buy into it. Yep. Because it's our fault that they're like this, in all honesty. Not our, not us three. But I mean, like, our community. You know, you know how boring GTA Five is now? It's so boring. It's, I yeah. Hop I hopped on there, literally bought the new SUV, drove around for 30 minutes, and was like, well, I'm done. <laughs> Turned it off. Yeah, it's like it's like amusing for about ten seconds, and you're like, okay. The only Get redeeming it. quality of GTA Online is that you can play it with friends, but every single game is better with friends. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, so that's not like a, you know, some new award to be, you know, static about. I love their new uh, their new newswire. Hey. We understand oh we're here where you're coming from. Red Dead or Online, but we, we understand. Here's GTA 6. It's coming out yeah. soon. Yeah. <laughs> Did you also notice the wording in their talk? It was like, they said GTA 5 Online, they were saying like, we hope to expand the community, and, you know, increase usership and stuff. And then for Red Dead, it was like, you know, we're going to show you more of what we have, and we hope you enjoy it even more. <laughs> They have nothing. Yeah, there's no plans to improve Red Dead Online anymore. I might just playing stop playing it. video games. I don't see the point. <laughs> He's I mean, up. well, don't do new that. Lego Star Wars, though. There's a lot of indie games that are really good. Oh, <laughs> speaking of which, uh, there's this game called Omori, and it's a psychological like horror game, and it legitimately yeah. scared the shit out of me. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I've heard the about first, it, I think. The first hour, it's like all cute, and it's like, oh, it's friendship. This is awesome. And then all of a sudden, like, it jump scares you, and then it starts getting very, very creepy. <laughs> I mean, that was the same kind of deal with, like, Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh, God. It's not like a... I, I, I really like indie games. I think indie games are some of the best games we they have, have now. Yeah, they have the best ideas. I just wish <laughs> yeah. they made sense sometimes. <laughs> what do you mean? There's some like indie horror games that like what is it? Uh, little nightmares where there's just no real lore. It's just well, there's no lore, but it's like you know, visually, it's very nice. Sure, that's all that you need to satisfy you. I mean, I it's not. <laughs> I want I'm not, lore. I damn it! <laughs> I know you want lore, Wyatt, but sometimes no lore. In itself is lore. How do you know there's no lore, by the way? Huh? I'm pretty sure if you looked hard enough, there'd be a lore. No, I just... You should I, look. I just watch people play it. They're just... It's just weird. It just starts off and you're going. <laughs> there's nothing to it. I think there is a story, though. I mean, I don't think it's 100% just loreless. Lore bidden. I don't know about it. Ever seen Little Nightmares? I've seen it, but I don't know if there's lore or not. Uh, I think it's a cool looking game, at least. You know what, Why That is enough to satisfy me. Okay. <laughs> you basic bitch. Maybe I am basic, but if I, if I get enjoyment from, like, oh, look, at, that's pretty cool looking, then what's the issue? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, know? you can tell that he's satisfied by looks. I mean... He's still playing Cyberpunk. <laughs> no, no. Here's the thing about Cyberpunk, though, is it's it's yeah, like it looks Robert nice. Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> I never said I loved Robert Pattinson either. I just said he was a pretty boy. Yeah, you said it a couple uh, times. Yeah, I said it many times, oh, and I'll yeah. keep saying it until I die. Here's the thing about Cyberpunk. 
What were you going to say? Okay, here's the thing about Cyberpunk, is not only does it look nice, you know, when it works, but, uh, like, there's also a story there. There's tons of lore to be, uh, read. You can find it all over the place, you know? It's got cool... I like the gameplay. There's a lot to be liked about Cyberpunk, okay? When's that multiplayer I'm coming? I'm tired of pretending <laughs> there's no... There's still no multiplayer? Oh. No. Fuck. It's probably going to be a separate purchase, too, uh, which I'll I'm say, not excited this, about. Cyberpunk also definitely put a dent in uh, What's-His-Face's career. Keanu Reeves? Yeah, I would say so. After it fucking yeah. flopped when it came out, I would say that really hurt him. It's I don't know. I think he was he's still doing pretty it. well. Yeah, but I I, I'd say I lost a little bit of respect. Uh, sure. I don't know. I, like, I, he didn't I, do anything with video games up until that point, and it was it was going to be this huge thing, and then it flopped hard. Well, the way I look at it is it was, I don't think he was like... I think he was just more excited that he was going to see a virtual version of himself than anything. <laughs> he could have done I, think his I think his performance in the game was very good, though. <laughs> yeah, like, he had a lot of... I, th I don't know if it was him doing the motion capture, but there was a lot of, uh, like, I don't know, emotion. Not an actor. Well, there was you. actually very little emotion in what he says, but that's Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Like, he could be doing a real heart-to-heart -heart moment. I remember there was a part in Cyberpunk where you're talking to him and you say something like, okay, I'll give control of my body to you. You know, something like that. Like, this is a really serious moment. And he goes, cool, thanks. <laughs> and then that's the whole conversation. Can you fuck so, him? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not, that's not what I mean by full control. He, he's like, it's been out long enough I can, like, say the big plots of it. Wow. He's not actually, like, alive. He's, like, oh. a computer program in your head. The math numbers, Mason. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He's a lot like Reznov. Hate except... that. <laughs> actually, <laughs> Reznov, like, took control of Mason every once in a while, didn't he? He brainwashed him. He didn't really take control of him. He acted... I thought there was parts in that game where he was, like, he thought he was Reznov. Yeah, he brainwashed him. Okay. Well, then it's similar. There is a lot of similarities now that you bring it up. They stole from Black Ops 1. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chance. I mean... Oh, that's I not looking good. I will have my vengeance. <laughs> my name is... Johnny Silverham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, His name much. is Johnny I mean, that did happen, too. Yeah. yeah. That's so lame. <laughs> <laughs> You know why, why? I you thought his why name was like that? Samurai. That's his band, why? He's a rocker boy. <laughs> you know why they call him Johnny Silverhand? Because he has a silver hand. He's got a silver hand. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's got a full crazy? metal arm. I don't yeah. want to play that game even more now. <laughs> no, dude. You got to give it a shot at least. It's, it's, it's worth a play. How much does it cost? I mean, Probably yeah. It's 60 like, bucks. It's like no, 60 I'm not bucks. playing it, man. <laughs> That's fair. Let me wait till summertime, and if it drops down to 20, I'll buy it. I wouldn't be surprised if it did. I'm surprised it hasn't, honestly. With it shouldn't that reception. be 60 bucks. Yeah, it should no. not be 60 bucks anymore. I don't think so. Well, you know, Witcher 3 also had a rocky start. I heard it took like two years to like have that game fixed. Yeah. How long has it been since Cyberpunk came out? I don't know. Would it come out in 2020? No. Yeah. Maybe. Don't remember. 2021? No, 2020. 2020. I think it was 2020. 20. Yeah, it was, so give it, it till November. End. It was the very end of 2020, December. So basically 2021. 2023? I think we'll be looking <laughs> at a pretty good game. Yeah. <laughs> 2023, then it's going to be uh, the 12th anniversary of GTA Online. No. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> no. <laughs> there was this really funny video I saw where somebody said something like, the year is 10 billion BC. Cyberpunk is initially announced for release. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it was a long time. The year time is 2077. We've been playing GTA Online forever. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... 
There was uh, a reference to Half-Life 3 in Cyberpunk. It was like after, you know, like 50 years of anticipation. It was like full Life 3 is finally out or something. <laughs> they need to they need to do that with GTA Online. Like put it on yeah. a computer be like, oh. Like Grand <laughs> Larceny 3 or something. Or Grand Larceny, Grand Larceny Online. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Buy your buy your dolphin cards today. <laughs> God damn it. And they should put a feature in the game where you can buy them and then it, it doesn't actually do anything. They just you buy it and it money. says idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Computer just yells at you, thanks, idiot. God. The state that our world is in. <laughs> it, I hate I hate it. I hate you. Hit the world. I hate you. <laughs> yeah. I hate you. <laughs> uh, so how are we looking on time? Side effects. <laughs> uh, we're at fifty minutes. Hey. Oh really? I just feel like the Obi Wan series is just gonna be just depression, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I have we a know he's gonna be. Also, it's like we know he's not gonna die. So why why do I care? Do we? It's Obi Wan. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was in the original trilogy, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it like Ben Kenobi though? I thought Obi Wan wasn't in. Oh my god! <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got something for this. <laughs> ben Obi-Wan. Kenobi is Obi Wan, Jimmy. Lee. <laughs> Okay. Go up, go up those stairs and come back when you've read fucking Star Wars history. Are you fucking kidding me? Look, I don't. I thought they were two separate people. Why is Obi Wan called Ben? Why does that make sense? Because he's in hiding, Chimney, for he's, fuck's sake. Yeah, and he uses the same last name. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> he's in a hiding. lot of Kenobi. Change my first name. Kenobi's a really popular last name. It's like Smith of the Star Wars universe. What do you mean? Isn't that even more? No, that's that doesn't that doesn't sit well with me. Okay, and Obi's a really common name. Well, Why haven't we seen series, another? Then? <laughs> I haven't we seen another Kenobi? I'm so I am series. I am I. It doesn't show I'm mad. I'm furious. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're furious. But... Okay, now I know. Now I'm not even gonna watch Obi Wan. <laughs> Because there's no right. stakes. Good. You don't deserve it. <laughs> it's going to be him on Tatooine. Yeah, I figured just going to yeah. Maybe him. he'll meet the Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a good chance he's going to meet the Mandalorian. I think he's... No, he won't. He's dead. Who? The Mandalorian? No. Obi-Wan. Oh. You know what New Hope is? Yeah, I know what a new hope is. Okay. Okay. I've watched all the movies. I just, I Doesn't guess, I just never like put. Have. I've never put two and two together that Ben Kenobi was Obi Wan Kenobi. It's more like one and one at that point. <laughs> I th- I just thought they were related. He knew your father. You just father. completely. <laughs> you completely just disregarded Princess Leia's. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're our only hope. You yeah. just completely disregarded that i don't know i guess i just never <laughs> i never thought about it that hard okay same facial hair <laughs> didn't have the same facial hair yeah he does it's just trimmed oh, wow. i guess yeah so it's half the other universe i'm just saying it doesn't make any sense that why would you go into hiding but keep your same last name that's <laughs> look i mean that's just ridiculous <laughs> george lucas it's like if George Lucas went into hiding and then he changed his name to, like, Robert Lucas. <laughs> oh, nobody will find him now. I'm surprised he didn't die sooner. <laughs> there can't be that many Kenobis in I'm, the universe. I'm, speaking of that, I'm surprised that Darth Vader never went to Tatooine. Yeah, I thought Tatooine, it's especially in the planet. original. <laughs> yeah. And it was I a think pretty, he went like, to Tatooine. Place, wasn't it? 
I think wasn't there like a thing where Darth Vader comes to Tatooine in the trailer? Oh, he might. The new series. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he didn't go back to Tatooine and kill that fucking elephant guy. Watto. A little. Uh, oh, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> drama. <laughs> oh, that guy. Yeah, the slaver guy. I thought yeah. you were talking about the guy that's part of the Cantina band. It looks like a little blue elephant. No. Oh no. What two? <laughs> 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 and copyright. <laughs> yeah. I love that song. Bow chicka bow wow, pick a bow wow, you do I love Star Wars. Yeah. Just the awkward, our our famous awkward silence that we're <laughs> famous for. <laughs> the I don't know, I've heard good reviews. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was frozen. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> yeah. Was so I, was, I was trying to make it look like I was frozen. <laughs> Next episode, I'm gonna get uh, questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, because I know a few people I've talked to that have listened to our podcast, and I'm sure they'd be willing to give us questions. Personal questions? Maybe not personal questions, but, you know, we'll see. I think it'll be fun. What, what's yeah. our time? <laughs> what's our God damn. We got like five minutes. Yeah. Like five We can end it here. It's like, we're at 56. Yeah, let's just end it. No, no, yeah. we're going to push it out. Five minutes. You gotta okay, go. we can push it out five minutes. <laughs> Okay, so, Danny, uh... if we're going to push out five minutes, go ahead. <laughs> um, how's your day? <laughs> well, was, I mean, nothing's really happened today. Yeah, but happened. I've got a new friend I'm hanging out with. Pretty cool. That's good. His name's Dakota. He's a pretty cool guy. North or south? <laughs> well, he lives here. So north. Yeah, north. <laughs> oh, I went to the... Uh, oh, go. I can actually show you all this. I went to the Dungeons & Dragons uh, store. And look what I Ooh. bought. Is that a squid? Yeah, it's, it's Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that a squid? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> so, uh, I have a lot of let me open it real quick. It's like a dice roller. Oh, Got some it. dice here. That's pretty cool. I wish we all lived yeah. near each other. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> great. We could do D and D in person. It'd be so cool to do in person. Yeah. Oh, that would be awesome. One day, who knows? Year is twenty seventy seven. Cyberpunk dude. two has been announced. <laughs> we'll be holograms. We'll be seventy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we'll be old. Yeah, we'd be we'll older be... than that. We'd be eighty something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now one day we will. Okay. That's, roll for initiative. That? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Roll for initiative. <laughs> roll, roll a d twenty, and we'll see the likeliness that we all meet in person. We're all gonna be in a funeral home, or not a funeral home, a, a nursing home. Retirement. And we're just, <laughs> yeah, retirement. Home. We're gonna be sitting on the table. All right. Roll your damage. You roll it. Oh, I crit, and I just pull out a gun and shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yo, retirement homes do need D and D. That'd be fucking. <laughs> I want to find the sexiest old lady. Look at that. Fifteen. I mean, hey, that's pretty good odds that we roll meet each other in person. Fifteen out of twenty. How bad? Ever tell me the odds, you know? Some of the Star Wars reference. Yep, yep. Han Solo. Oh. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> what? Roll 120. There we go. Eight. Eight. Oh, Daniel. it doesn't look like eight. Daniel's not going to make <laughs> it. Doesn't it doesn't look like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how do I uh, roll? I want to roll. A roll. 1d20. 
Do I need to put a slash or something, or just type it? It's, you just type it. Oh, I'm definitely not oh, gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually That's died right after this podcast. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. So by those odds, it's gonna be like I'll just go somewhere that we plan to meet, and before you guys get there, you just both die. Do you eat Taco Bell chimney? I love Taco Bell. Nacho fries. Love nacho fries. They're back. They are. They are. At least they are here. They came back. Oh my god! Wednesday or Thursday? We have to get them. I'm gonna have to get them. That's What's what your I'm... mood, Wyatt? My mood. Oh. What's your shirt say? <laughs> it's a bunch mood. of pictures of a Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right, that's where we end it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, I need to do the ending. We'll, we'll meet up uh, around 6.30 for our Taco Bell lunch before D&D you're do- Sunday. You're doing the ending? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do an ending now, I've decided. We have an ending? <laughs> yeah, so... I love how... I Before you do the ending, I love how yeah. Chimney, like, just does stuff and does not consult us whatsoever. No. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have like a guest one of these days, and I'm just not gonna. They're tell just gonna you show up. Time. We're just yeah, we're yeah. gonna show up. Who the hell is this? They're gonna be like, oh, I thought I thought Chimney told you to. No, no we didn't hear anything. <laughs> no, <laughs> he doesn't tell us shit. <laughs> oh, man, remember Jeopardy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did that horribly wrong to be. I like how that's I what started this. That. Yeah. That is what started this. That's a Jeopardy game, game, game show. <laughs> uh, Alright, what ending are we doing? Uh, well, <laughs> no, it's just, you know, saying, like, goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Turtle Top Podcast, you know. Uh, we hope to see you again whenever we upload next. Check the link in the description for all of Wyatt's stuff that he had. and You know, nothing for Danny, I don't think. Danny now Danny streams, doesn't he? No, he hates streaming. I thought he'd streamed. He did. And he's frozen. Or he's no, pretending he's, to be. I can, sh- <laughs> I can see his shirt yeah. flapping. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. See you later.